besides the tough challenge ahead, these athletes know fun. Some of them, even their families and friends, don their colorful costumes, but mostly run on their sexy underpants for the annual Century Tuna Superbots Underpants Run. Once the home base of the U.S. Naval Forces, Subic has transformed to become one of the top tourist destinations outside of Metro Manila. Its modernization, brought about by the American occupation, gave a stark contrast to the natural beauty of the Zambales mountain range, looming over the picturesque Subic Bay. From the military training ground of the U.S. Naval Forces, Subic has come a long way to become the favorite stomping ground of triathletes. Well, we were really very pleased that uh, Ironman Philippines will be held in Subic Bay. But to be honest, we felt that there was no choice really but to have Ironman Philippines here in Subic Bay since we've been the triathlon capital of the Philippines. And we've been the very first venue for triathlons. We've been hosting triathlons for 25 years already. And we feel we have the infrastructure, the service, and the capability to really hold a full Ironman distance. So Subic is a complete venue. So not just in terms of holding the Ironman race, but holding the entire event. For a country that puts high regard on family devotion, it wasn't surprising why more and more Filipinos are drawn into the sport. That family bonding was magnified during the Alaska Iron Kids that came a day before the Ironman race. Actually, we're really excited every year to see the family and friends supporting their loved ones. Kasi talagang you'll see them cheering for them. And it's really a family affair for this Alaska Iron Kids. The values naman, we teach, syempre, sportsmanship, teamwork for the relay, and then, syempre, discipline and determination. Iron Kids. Bali, second time nila sa Aquathlon. Pero they do running. Nung six years old pa sila. Tapos nagsiswim din sila. Nag-enjoy po ako. Tsaka po madami rin po ako nakilala. Kasama mo yung mga big kids. Kasama ko po yung mga big kids. Masaya po siya. Tsaka po nakaka-enjoy. Tsaka po nakakapag-banding din po kami ng mga ka- Uh, Siyempre po, proud na proud po kami kasi uh, kami rin po kasi yung nagko-coach sa kapatid namin. Tapos uh, talaga pong sinasali po namin siya sa mga competition, sa mga swimming, sa mga running. And then, yun po, uh, binibigyan po talaga namin siya ng attention para po makakamit namin yung gantong uh, sa kapatid namin. Yeah, very exciting and tiring pero satisfied. First time to join ng Iron Kids. It's very, you know, fulfilling actually. <laughs> Pag malapit na po mag-go, kanakabahan, pero po pag tamakbo, masaya naman siya. Sobrang saya po na may kasama ka po kapatid na sumusuporta sa'yo, pamilya na sumusuporta po sa'yo, yun na po. The festive atmosphere in the morning turned serious in the afternoon as the clock slowly ticked away in anticipation of the toughest grind ahead. Iron Man legends Dave Scott and Craig Alexander came by to give race tips to Filipino triathletes to fan their hopes of conquering the punishing 140.6 miles or the equivalent of almost 227 kilometer race course. 
Yeah, it's, it's a long day, obviously. You just look at the distances, you know it's, it's going to be a long day and a, and a tough physical challenge, but also a tough mental challenge. But I think that's why we as athletes sign on for it, because it's not easy, but it's challenging. It, it forces you to, to prepare well and to be your best and, and to overcome challenges and obstacles, not only in the training, in the lead up, but also on race day as well. Well, I think it's, uh, as Fred, the race director was saying, the Philippines is ready for an Ironman race. And maybe it was ready two years ago or three years ago, but I think he's very diligent about laying out a perfect course that is managed well, that doesn't have traffic impeding it, that has adequate aid stations well and above and beyond a lot of the other races that are held. So I think the athletes have, will come in here with a confidence knowing that safety is paramount. That's going to be handled extremely well. They're not going to have to worry about that. And all they have to worry about is themselves. Many see the Ironman as a once-in-a-lifetime race. It's the dream race of every triathlete. But to be able to do it in front of your family, friends, and countrymen, the race becomes larger than yourself. For August Benedicto, the current most decorated Asian elite, this race means a lot to him. Benedicto grew up in the sport side-by-side side with the Ironman brand in the Philippines. Now, he's come full circle. Motivation ko na pagsali dito, unang una. Yung una pa lang na sumali ako sa 2009. Inisip ko na yun yung isa sa tuloy-tuloy na pagsali ko sa Ironman. Tapos ito na yung distance na napakahaba. To truly appreciate where he is now, Benedicto needs only to look back at his childhood days of selling ice in his makeshift bike. If there's anything the triathlon taught him, it is the perseverance and determination to defy the odds. He is a man who found not only solace in the sport, but also profound success predicated on the discipline he learned. Yung paglalaro ko ng triathlon, nakasalamuha ko yung mga napapanood ko lang sa TV ng mga pro. Dati kasi, I mean, puro pagtitinda. Then, ngayon, uh, dahil sa sports din, nabago rin yung buhay ko. Dahil, siyempre, naging motivation din ako at sa meron ding suporta na minsan pag nanalo ka, siyempre, i-keep mo rin yun hanggang yung kaysa mga uh, araw-araw na pagtitinda. So nakita ko mas maganda yung content opportunity rin na makapili ako ng bahay ko and then makapunta sa san san lugar. Before Benedicto became the face of the sport in the Philippines, there was Arland Makasiem. He is the most decorated Filipino-American triathlete who has represented the country in the international competition. He was among the people who inspired the present generation that Filipinos can compete professionally in the sport. This race brought nostalgia to him. You know, just seeing all my friends at the swim start, it's been, so it's been, really, it's been a nice trip already, just being able to, to connect with all my friends from, from before. And, and it's, yeah, it's nice to see that, that triathlon has come full circle, you know. It was a can't-miss proposition to fly back to the country. For Makasieb, he sees the race as a game-changer in the local triathlon community in the larger scheme of things. Oh man, I remember when, when they first announced this race last, last June, I was like, man, I, just, I have to do this, you know, and that's when I started training again. Like I pretty much came out of retirement for this. So, um, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's, it's awesome. I mean, you know, we've had iron distances here before, like the Endura Man has, was, was here, you know, I think in 2000, 2002 or something, but this is the first Ironman brand. And I think it really does bring 
the notoriety of Ironman. There's, there's Kona spots here, so people are, are gearing up their training to qualify for Kona. So there's so much energy here. There's a lot of foreigners that are, that are coming in, and, and that's the beauty of sport in general, is that it, it unites people rather than, than divides people. like to thank our media partners Hyper HD on Signal The Philippine Star Troy Life AsiaTry.com Finisher Picks Official Hotels Asea Subic Bay Best Western Plus Subic Court Meridian Hotel The Lighthouse Marina Mansion Garden Hotel Subic The Villas by Moon Bay Marina Subic Bay Peninsular Hotel Subic Bay Yacht Club Subic Holiday Villas